Hey, what's going on, y'all? It's Sierra and Mikkel. We are about to re-watch season one and just talk through it. Yes. Talk about things that we might have missed. Talk about things that are only relevant now because of how far we are in the story. I miss Game of Thrones. It's been too long. We've been waiting for like a year. It's not been a year. It's been a couple of months. Uh, it feels like a year. But we are now in the long night and we do have a year to wait. It doesn't come out until 2019. So yeah, we already seen it, but we're just trying to go over it just to see if we missed anything and also just talk about, you know, things we feel the need to talk about or I know a lot of people that watch us will enjoy it, so I'm excited. Alright, so here is Game of Thrones, Season 1, Episode 1, Winter is Coming. Let's get it. Hola, hola. They would make those designs, and that's why the White Walkers do it too, right? With the bodies like that. What do you they created them, so. The savages. Our orders were to track the wildlings. We tracked them. They won't trouble us no more. He looks like a young if Brad Pitt or something. Fast. Maybe not Brad, but somebody. Matt Damon. Matt Damon. Matt Damon. That's who it is. I would say it's it just again. like Matt Damon. White walkers have been gone for thousands of years. And so they just think that it's crazy wildlings out there. Well, he does. Yeah, of course. Nobody believes that it's it's white walkers. Right. Because he deserted the he deserted the night's watch. He didn't go back to the wall. He didn't go back. He, he went north or yeah, south. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He should have went he went should have back. There's another one standing back there. Did you see that? Yeah, I see. I didn't notice that. That white walker left him alive so he could tell people. Send the message. Yeah. Right. Just like they did with Sam. Remember at the end of that one season where they were all walking and they let Sam live? And another cool thing is, next to the actors' names, it's a sigil of the house that they play, you know, of their character. Yeah. But he knows what it is. He knows he's gone. Go on. Father's watching. And your mother. Right there. First lines out of the now. And your mother. Right. I want to let you know what he is I'm from the get. Has a Buster. 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 Yeah, I didn't know his daughter was a beast, yeah. Tan is too young to see such things. He won't be a boy forever. Mm. And winter is coming. Hey! <laughs> And then come to like five seasons after this. Yeah, it just came right where we are. Exactly. I saw what I saw. Chapstick. I saw Chapstick, look at his face. I bet that's from being so cold. Like, give me a sword. It's just crazy. No. What's sad is that he's not. He's not. You know the name of that sword? You did well. Ice. There's a trace on the White Walkers. The White Walkers have been gone for thousands of years. And Bran's the first one to be curious about the White Walkers. This right here is a stag. Mountain lion? And that's House Baratheon. No mountain lion. King Robert's no house. So what you say it's like prophecy? But I'm just saying, in a minute, they're going to see a dire wolf, and it's going to have the horn of a stag in it, which is a representation of prophecy. House Baratheon destroying House Stark, because that's their sigil, and this is their sigil, the right. dire wolf.
and all that's going to be left is the pups. This is freaking their future being told right here, and they have no idea. Wow. Why do they talk like that to their father? You know what I mean? What do you mean? They're saying them themselves. It's like they're not. They're I understand that they're the, he's the king or whatever. They die. But it's like it's like they don't even know him. Just they're under his rule. You know what I mean? Yeah, but that's that's just out of respect. Of course, but it's just like how what like Stark. Like you wouldn't call your dad that. He's I'm not a Stark. He's a bastard though. He can't say dad. But it's still his father. Right. I mean, he even uh, wrong to the letter. That one's yours, no. With the red eyes representing fire. And the yeah. white fur representing ice. No, basically, you know how they treat John because he's a bastard. They treat him like it's his fault that Ned Ned hooked up with a random woman on the road, you know, but it's not. So he cannot call him father because he's, I don't know. That's the hand of the king. Lysa Aaron, the one that was breastfeeding her eight-year-old, that's her husband. Which we came to find out where we are, that Lysa actually poisoned him because Littlefinger told her to. So it is Littlefinger that got this whole situation in motion. As your brother, I feel it's my duty to warn you. You worry too much. It's starting to show. And you never worry about anything. When we were seven, you jumped off the cliffs at Castle Rock. A hundred foot drop into the water. You were never afraid. There was nothing to be afraid of until you told Father. What if John Aaron told someone? But who would you tell? My husband. If you told the king... And that right there tells us that they didn't kill him. By now. What if he told someone? Whatever John Aaron... Because they would have shut him up before he would have even got the idea. You know how they are. And Robert was using you hand of the king, someone to do his job while himself fucking boars and hunting whores. Or is it the other way around? And life will go on. You should be the hand of the king. That's not all I could do without. Our days are too long. I'm jealous. Our lives are too short. Mm hmm? So you seem jealous. I am so sorry, my love. John Aaron is dead. Which is her brother-in-law. I know he was like a father to you. Your sister, the boy. They both have God's be good. They're slick with them potions, though. And potions will make it look like somebody got sick. You know, I've talked to you back then, so they're right. And I'm trying to think of what it was well, called. Warnings. Mm -hmm. Tears of Lease, something like that, the poison that With she the queen and all the rest of them. Why is your mother so dead set on us getting pretty for the king? Mm. It's for the queen like that. And that is the only other time we see him get a haircut until Melisandre is bringing him back to life. And she snips off some of his hairs. Yes. 
That's it. That poor horse. Look at Hodor. You see his big mind over there? Mm -hmm. I like how they made this moment tense to not knowing that they had a good relationship with their buddies. Grace, you got fat. I mean, like you? I got that. <laughs> Cat! Catty! Nine years. I have not seen you. Where the hell have you been? Guarding the North for you, Your Grace. When the fellow is yours. Little Tommy and Marcella. You must be Rob. You named for him, Rob. Aye, you're a pretty one. Your name is? Aya. Oh. Aya. Shows your muscles. You'll be a soldier. That's Damien Alistair, the Queen's twin brother. Would you please shut up? I can't stand that, yo. I couldn't. Take your deep crypt. I want to pay my respects. You've been riding for a month, my love. A month. Surely the dead can wait. Ned. Don't worry, sister. Mm -hmm. It's the whole war was started over. Yo, mama. Where is our. I need you, Ned. Down at King's Landing, down up here, where you're no damn use to anybody. Lord Eddard Stark. I would name you the Hand of the King. You helped me win the Iron Throne, now help me keep the damn thing. If your sister had lived, we'd have been bound by blood. Well, it's not too late. I have a son, you have a daughter. And a lot of people are convinced we'll that that's houses. about Gendry and Arya. 